would you ensure the historical accuracy of on that painting? That it was accurate by many tests. What you'd do, you'd you'd paint first of all you'd paint the thing in the way you think it would work by a sketch almost on the on this glass that I used to paint on. And we'd look through the camera and find where the join was. Because we'd develop a little piece and put it in the camera so we could see where the join was to be. And then I would paint where the painting was to go, where the black mask was. And then we'd take a test and see whether, by testing, and, and we'd have probably 100 feet of test. And after that was used up, then we'd shoot the scene. What about matching colors? How were you able to do that? By doing this same technique, as I was saying, we'd we'd uh, develop a little piece and check see how the colors. It was in three strip in those days. You had three pieces of film. You'd put the, the green through, and then the red, green, and blue, and you'd put each one in at separate time. It was complex, long time, took a long time. And were most of the colors, were they, did they show up the same way as you would see them in, through your eye, or did you have to just learn a no, different... No, the color was the same as your eye. You could be fooled into thinking you'd have to change the color, but you didn't. What about the detail? How much detail had to go into each one of those paintings? As much as you saw in the uh, actual original. So it was quite a lot of detail you'd have to put in. Did you, how did you... F uh, know what to do historically? Did you have a lot of research uh, going into mm -hmm. some of the historical pieces? Well, that would be part of Walt's job where he would, uh, with Don de Grotti and the other story men, they would have that on their boards. And so these little sketches were about this size and they'd go from to a whole film practically, especially where we're going to do some special thing like this. So this would be a great help to me. And all these little sketches, and then I'd do up a large sketch showing how I thought it would look. Was and show a, it to Walt. Was there a certain visual style that needed to be accomplished? Did you want it to look like a, a photograph? Or? It had to look like a photograph. But it had to have certain, not just a plain photograph, you'd have to put something in to give it a certain life of its own. And this was something that you learned by being in the business long enough to know how to make it look more interesting than a photograph. Like those in, uh, that I did in Quo Vadis, with hundreds of people there. What I'd do is paint all the crowds in and b make little holes in the, in the paint. And behind I'd have a screen that moved slightly so it looked like the, cloud, the crowd was moving. 